Hi there. This is a tutorial for Bantub users so that they understand how to transfer their audio files within Bandhub into an external DAW, i.e. Cubase, Pro Tools, Sound, uh, Cakewalk, uh, and other programs like that. This is basically going to show you how to get these files and import them so that you can then start editing them post uh, Bandhub and get some really high quality uh, mixes, etc. As I say, if we go into Bantub, I've picked the police message in a bottle collab that I was on and it is now completed to show, to show you this. First and foremost, find the collab that you want to, to, to mix, then click Open in Studio. Once you click Open in Studio, what you're basically looking for is to launch the recording app. Now, once you l r launch the recording app, it says the, the collab's finished, that's fine, so we'll proceed anyway. What will happen is that, that, that your sign will come up and it'll start to do its usual saying downloading files. Now I've already downloaded these files just to save time within this uh, quick video. So where these files have then been stored is important. So what we're basically looking at doing here is these files are in your C drive. This is Windows PC, by the way, Windows, uh, Windows 10. In your C drive, under Users folder, and now, basically, you need to, you'll have different folders in there. My one's called Ross because that's my username. So it'll be under your username. Now, the important part here is to enable hidden files. You need to show hidden files. You can see the app data on the screen here. It's, it's kind of got semi grayed out. That means it's a hidden file. So if you go into, if you can Google it, it's, it's no problem. Or, or go into the help, help section and ask them for, ask to show hidden files and, uh, um, and, select that preset and it'll allow you to see that so once we go into app data we then go into the local folder and there you see it, it's under band hub that's it there that's what we're looking at okay so and under the cache folder is and um, there we are and there's the there's the songs that have just been downloaded normally what you'll find when you go in there if you've never done this before there'll be lots of files there that's all the stuff that you've worked on in the past this is where bantub deposits all these og files they're called og vorbis files and, and and applications like cubase and pro tools and whatnot can read the og vorbis file so i'm going to show you now how to import them in so basically as you can see you can see the size there now, one of the files that's there is 17 meg. It's the largest one that you'll get. You don't need that. That is basically all these other files put together, and that is how Banta plays it back. So I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to take these five files, which is what we've got, five windows within, uh, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five. So these are the five tracks that we have here. Now, I'm going to copy and paste them into messaging, the, the uh, folder that I put on my desktop. There we go. I've copied them in there already. So we have them now on my desktop folder, but they're all different names. You can see they're not coded properly. You can change that later. It's not a problem. But let's go into Cubase now and import these files so you can see what I mean. So we're going to Cubase now, and I'm going to File, Import, Audio File. Now, that's what we're looking to do here. So we're basically what we're looking to do is import the audio file. So I know it's on my desktop. So there we go there, and it's called Message in a Bottle. There it is, right? So there's the files. So I'm selecting all of them, and I'm going to click Open. Now Cubase says, do I want to copy them to a working directory? Uh, do I want to convert them or split? I say nothing there apart from OK. Now that's it, copying the files into Cubase, getting ready. So I want to show them on different tracks. Now here's the magic. There we go. Now these here, when I, when I, if I scroll that down and pull that back, give you a, bit of a, a better notice. There you go. There's the files that we use. So if I go to press play, and you'll, see, you'll, you'll start to hear it. Now you can hear the music kicking over. Now if I solo, there's the drums. Or the bass, etc. Now we can bring up the mixer. So there's the mixers in there. Take the solos off. Like so. Now what we can do, what we can do now, see, is now that we have this audio in here, we can go into the EQ. So for example, if I'm playing this back, let me just solo the, uh, in fact, we'll solo the drums, That's the, the, the bass actually. We'll solo the bass and we'll play that through. So we have, we ha oh, sorry about that. Bring up the mixer. 
So I can affect that there, or I can EQ under a window. So here's the, the under Cubase, here's the EQ that we have. So I can pan left, right. Can control the volume. Now I can also add inserts. Now this is where the fun begins or sends. So I can basically um, put a delay on, for example. Say I, I want a, a delay on this. Now you can hear that basically. So once changing the song. Do the same on, on the guitar. Put a different filter. Put a wah wah. So you can see now all the differences that you can do. The other thing is you can go in under a door and look at the audio and clear it up, insert noise gates, etc. And then what you can also do at the end is file, once you've, once you've done all your changes onto the song there, done the EQ, uh, various different things, you can basically go to export and then you can do an audio mix down. So you can then ex audio mix down all the, the changes that you've done within Cubase. I hope this answers your questions. It, w it was done pretty quick and it's the first time I've ever done that. So thanks for following me and I hope you understand it. Cheers.